Hey everybody, it's Gecko here back with another nightly walk and talk. As you can see, it's kind of cloudy, but mostly clear. But it is hot out today. It's at least in the mid 70s, probably closer to 80 and humid. Oh, it's supposed to rain later tonight. But uh, anyway, uh, I've been trying to shoot videos for a walk and talk for a while but I keep uh, deleting them and starting them over because <laughs> I forget to edit them and put them up and so well, I can do better so let me go ahead and turn you around right quick and I'll get this rolling all right well I guess uh, well first off let me apologize if there's any wind noise I'm kind of in a valley of houses right now so the wind has died down some but once I get out in the open it'll probably get windy again um, so let me go ahead and start it with a job update um, as y'all know I applied at Tesla and I did get the job but before I started my orientation it came to my attention like almost after the fact that there's no smoking or vaping anywhere on the tesla facility grounds nowhere and of course the place is so big you can't even go off site to smoke on your brakes you don't have time so that was a deal breaker for me and then i was also researching their health insurance provider um, it was, oh, uh, what was it? Oh man, I can't remember now. It was you know, something corporation or something services corporation healthcare network. Um, so... I researched them and I looked on the Better Business Bureau and Trustvisor.com and they had hundreds of complaints about this company, not just for their, their medical insurance and uh, workman's comp insurance, but their travel insurance, their auto insurance, all of it. Uh, Zurich, Z-U-R-I-C-H, Zurich services corporation healthcare network and a lot of the the posts on there said if they could give it zero stars they would out of five stars i mean even overall it had a one star rating so everybody had a problem with them i mean it's out of hundreds of complaints on both sites so, yeah, the, the healthcare network that Tesla is a part of sucks. And also, I noticed over the past couple of months that Tesla stock has tanked like 65%. Hold on. Still waiting. At least they're smart and they have body armor on not that that's gonna help them much anyway um, so between oh and I was uh, also researching uh, employee issues and I noticed that they have a lot of um, union issues um, especially up in the New York area. So, yeah, I don't want to deal with that kind of drama. I mean, I'm not against unions, but I'd rather not have to deal with them. I mean, my brother-in-law was part of the electrical workers union all his life. You know, and it, granted, it is good to have somebody in your corner. But for somebody like me who 
isn't planning on being there as a career, I don't really need it. You know, I know what I'm signing up for. You know? But... So, given all of that, I decided not to take the job, and here, com here comes the wind. See if that can block it a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I decided not to take the job at Tesla. So, I'm staying at Amazon. I didn't quit my job. So, I'm still at Amazon. I've been getting more hours. They, of course, I've been in... This past week, I was in outbound the entire time. Every day. Um, I'm still hoping that Costco calls. Uh, their grand opening there at the Kyle location is March 26th. So, I hope they're still hiring. You know, filling positions. Other than that, there's one or two other places I've applied for that, you know, it's a possibility. Uh, I haven't heard back from any of them. But worst case scenario, I stay at Amazon. I think tomorrow is my six month anniversary. Anyway, I'm gonna get a raise. So, I mean, it won't be much. It'll probably be like a quarter or whatever. But, you know, that's a couple of bucks extra a week. Let me go ahead and uh, shut y'all off for a bit until I like turn around the other way. Maybe the wind will be better. So hold on. All right. Well, I think I'm out of the wind for a little bit. I got a hill behind me. Uh, so that's it for the job situation. It's all good right now. Um. Some of the things that's been happening on YouTube lately that I've been following is, uh, as you know, uh, Nightcrawler has gotten a YouTube channel back and he's in the process of putting it, putting up all his old videos, the ones that are safe for him to put up. <laughs> he doesn't need to be banned like he was last time. But uh, one of the new ones he has up is uh, his... Uh, Grand Canyon rim to rim that he did on his Arizona trail through hike um, that he was in the process of when he got banned um, a lot of that footage isn't gonna of the, the a lot of the footage of the Arizona trail through hike isn't gonna be able to be put up because of the content and what was going on um, and I'm not gonna get into what happened is he got banned and he was lucky he didn't end up in jail um or he may have ended up in jail i don't know but he's out now or he's done with whatever he had to do i think he had like a year a year's worth of anger management to go through or something i don't know the particulars just kind of what he shared before it got banned um but uh I do want to watch that that rim to rim hike because eventually I'd like to do the same. Um, another thing that I've been tracking is IB Tat uh, when he got done with his uh, Scottish National Trail or whatever that he did up in Scotland last year. Apparently, he got a seasonal job at YMCA of the Rockies which surprised me i i didn't even know he knew about seasonal jobs like that or ymca of the rockies or or any of it um and it makes me wonder if he saw that on uh my ymca of the rockies playlist i'd kind of be interested to find out <laughs> Um, or he could have just found it on his own. I mean, it is one of the best places to work for seasonal work. 
because it's fun it's easy you don't have to have any experience and they pay decent if you're single uh, and like don't have a mortgage or rent or anything like that I mean they say they pay like 1350 an hour or something like that um, because that's what the minimum wage is in Colorado but once they take out the money that they take out for room and board you only end up getting like eight dollars an hour which in my situation with the two thousand dollar a month rent i couldn't afford to work there i i needed to work somewhere that paid more than eight dollars an hour so um his next through hike is going to be starting in september and it's going to be a uh, through hike in sweden That'll be interesting. I've, I've watched uh, a couple with their dog through hike. I, I think that trail in Sweden. And it was beautiful. I'm not sure what Dixie's doing. I know she's posted her plans for the year. Um, but I don't remember which trails she was going to hike. Um, but she posted a video uh, a couple of weeks ago that got me to think. And it was... a um about her bucket list and and the, some of the things that's on her bucket list that she's done or she wants to do uh, mainly it was what she's done um and it got me to thinking about you know what would be on my bucket list if i were to create one so i think i'm fixing to hold on yay move ring closed my apple watch um what would be on my bucket list you know and i'm i'm gonna sit down and start one because i'm 52 years old you know and between smoking and my disability through the va it's getting worse and i don't know how long i'm gonna be physically able to do some things so you know the first things on my bucket list, obviously, is the Triple Crown. You know, the Appalachian Pacific Crest and Continental Divide Trails. You know, that's first and foremost in my thoughts right now. Because, you know, I'm actually buying the, the gear, which I've almost got all my gear. And I'm saving to go uh, mid-March of next year. So I have a year to save. So far, I've got $200 in my savings account. And I'm hoping to put $100 a week in there every week. I know it might, it'll only be like, I think, between four and $5,000 if I just do that. But, you know, if I'm able to find a better paying job, maybe I can start putting a little bit more in there. But my wife had gotten a thousand dollar line of credit with our credit union and it's maxed out right now. Um, and she wants help paying it back. And it did, she, she did use some of it for, for bills. I'll give her that. So, you know, I transfer to $250 a week in our rent savings account. Um, and over the four weeks during the month, that's my half of the rent. Uh, and then I try to put $200 a week in the joint account for groceries. Uh, sometimes I can't always do that, depending on how many hours I've, I've been able to work at work. Um, I like this week, I was only able to put $100 in there. Because uh, I only got like $500. Uh, and that was the week, that was the money for the vacation week that I took. I thought it would have been more than that. Of course, there's no night shift differential figured in that either. But I was thinking I would get, you know, my last check was 700 Or maybe that was the, the rent, the, uh, you know what? I think it was. That $700 was the, uh, the vacation week. I think I've been back for two weeks now. 
I have. So, yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. They finally got the windows in that place. Looks decent. So, um, I've started following a whole bunch of new through hikers. Um, I haven't gone, I mean, well, on Instagram I have. Um, and they've been following me back. I think I'm up to like 242 followers on Instagram. And I'm up to 183 subscribers on, on this YouTube channel. So, yay. Other than that, I mean, I do watch YouTube channel uh, or, or YouTube videos on my breaks at work. I sit out in my truck, smoke my cigarettes, and watch YouTube videos. Mainly it's, you know, like funny, funny pet videos or um, high limit coin pusher videos or car crash comp compilations <laughs> or, or uh, you know, people fails and stuff like that. Because, you know, I really don't have the time on a break to watch a through hiking video because most through hiking videos are up to like an hour and i only have a 30 minute break well two 30 minute breaks but that's it um so hmm. that and i've been binge binge watching some shows right now i've i've re uh i didn't restart watching the flash i had started watching it a while back and i just picked it up where i left off but i did not realize that they were still making new episodes of that i think i stopped in like season three and they're up to like season nine I mean, if it keeps going the way it's going, it's going to be one of the longest running uh, superhero series ever, if it, if it isn't already. But there's a huge, you know, fan base for Flash. So, this right here is another thing that I'm highly anticipating the gas station at the corner if I need cigarettes all I have to do is swing in on one of my walks and pick it up or if I want a soda or something just I don't have to like drive all the way into town to HEB or anything I can just go to the corner gas station <laughs> there's so much garbage out here and it's from all the construction it's sad Well, I don't, I don't know what's on our agenda for tonight. My wife's on call at work, and she'll probably want to go dancing. Uh, last I checked on the Find My Friends app, uh, she was still at home. She hasn't gone to walk the dog yet, and she was sleeping when I left. Mm, like three miles. Looks like they mowed out here recently. Whisper, thank you for visiting. I'm not visiting, I live here. I don't know, 
honestly don't really know what else to talk about. I'm fixing to turn around so it it may get noisy. The wind noise. Well, they finally got the cement poured right in front of the gas station. That's new. Looks like they're in the process of putting in the, the gas tanks and the, the pump support. Uh, it doesn't look like the wind's going to be too bad right now. So I'll keep going. Um, the only really thing I've been doing lately is I've put up a couple of new uh, podcast episodes for Gecko's Life. I did one on Intentional Community. And then I did another one on Goals. Uh, what my goals have been in my life and what my goals are now and why we should have goals i mean why are they so important so if you're interested go to spotify you know put a gecko's life up in a search and and you know stream the podcast remember when this whole place was nothing but fields now there's warehouses back there and these things that apartment community the office building here the residential subdivision now and just three years ago there was nothing here it was all cotton fields These streets weren't even here. All the way from Saddlebrook over there, uh, which is a, a big mobile home community, all the way, well, the CFAN and uh, uh, Collins Aerospace has, has been there forever, but that was the only thing between here and Yarrington Road, which is the overpass over there. Which is funny, when I was in Lenexa, up in Kansas City, doing that job at Home Depot, there was another Collins Aerospace there. Thought that was interesting. I always wonder what I'm going to find in the, on the side of the sidewalk whenever they, they mow and weed eat. Because you remember... A whole bunch of videos back, I actually found $10 laying on the ground. Two $5 bills. I always find stuff like that. I guess it pays literally to look down. <laughs> I'm always finding stuff, money, change. Sometimes when you're at the at the uh, strip malls or whatever the outlet mall outlet malls or or even like uh shopping centers like up here we have like target and michael's and jc penny and five below and a whole bunch of little places all on a row well out in the parking lots they have the little shrubberies and and the little the, the surrounding areas around the parking lot, they have the shrubberies that they have. And people coming out of the store, sometimes they drop money. And it blows across the parking lot and it gets caught in those shrubberies. So, next time you're around those places, 
you know, go around there and look and I bet you you'll find a dollar or two. <laughs> I have. I'm not above picking up money on the ground. Hell, even if it's a, a penny or a nickel or a dime or a quarter, I'll pick it up. I'll put it in my change jar. That change adds up over the months. And it's good for going in and buying your occasional lottery ticket, you know? Which my current Mega Millions lottery ticket is worth a lump sum payout of $120 million. If you take out the 25% for lotto tax, that ends up being just north of $90 million. So, I would give $10 million to each of the, the kids and my wife, and that would leave me with $50 million. And of course, there's people in the family that we should really pay back because my brother-in-law he's he's loaned us well quote unquote air quotes loaned us um, a lot of money over the years when we were really struggling and he gave me that that pickup truck that i have you know free and clear i didn't have to give him anything for it which helped us out immensely with with me looking for work i wasn't uh I wasn't limited to just my surrounding areas to look for work anymore. I could drive there. Um, and then my mother, over the course of my life, has bailed me out I don't know how many times. She's given me cars. Uh, maybe not given me cars, but let me use some cars that she's had. Um, my sister sold me a pickup truck that I, I never paid her for. You know, I need to give, I need to give back, you know. You know, if, and if I win money like this, I'm definitely going to do it. I mean, my sister's on SSI. I can't really, you know, give her, I can't necessarily give her money free and clear. But what I could do is take like $500,000 in cash and get a safety deposit box and give her the key or give her a key and whenever she needs the money she can go get money out of the safety deposit box and she doesn't have to claim it on her for her SSI it wouldn't impact her benefits and then I could give my brother some money to help out with his business he's got a mosquito hunters business uh, for pest control um it's one of those like little franchise things you can buy into and buy a franchise and he's it's going well i mean he's struggling to find people to work for him right now and do uh he wants to hire a, a social media uh, manager, which he's honestly asked me if I wanted to do it. Um, is it something I could do remotely? I've been thinking about it, but I don't know. But the things that I want to do um, with through hiking and, and whatever, I'm not going to be available to do it on a regular basis. You know, maybe once I'm done through hiking and settle down somewhere, yeah, maybe. If he still wants me to, but that's going to be uh, several, several years from now. Uh, the longer, the better, <laughs> you know. But I want to get out there and I want to hike more than just the Triple Crown. And if I'm physically able to, you know, I'm going to keep doing it until I can. So, I mean, as long as I have the money to do it, that's the big, the big hold back. But hopefully my, hopefully this Gecko's Trails gets monetized eventually. You know, once I do get out on a trail, start getting a lot more subscribers, a lot more uh, views on my videos. Um, 
and my podcast because I'm not going to stop doing my podcast just because I'm out on the trail. Well, I'll do podcasts from the trail. Um, and maybe do some interviews with other through hikers on it. That'd be cool. You know, especially if I get a, a trail family going. You know, make them uh, internet famous, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Hell, I'm not even, I'm not internet famous. You know, but eventually I would like to get the the YouTube channel and the the podcast monetized you know bring in a little extra income so I can go hike trails and uh, I started a threadless.com store but I'm having a I'm having trouble uploading images to it now they have some really strict like size requirements for different things so I would have to go into each picture photo that I want to upload and change it to, to match the requirements and I haven't really had the time to do any of that right now um, Zazzle that's that's easy um, I may just stick with the Zazzle store um because it's royalty based i don't know what the monetary difference in earnings would be with threadless and with between threadless and zazzle because but i already have an established zazzle store i haven't done much with it lately actually i have several zazzle stores for different topics i've got my my hiking one and then i have my my uh, pagan and spiritual one and I want to say I have another one tucked off in there somewhere but I don't think I have anything much of anything on it I don't know but the one that sells the most stuff is honestly my, my Wiccan and pagan spiritual one You know, I did, I did a couple of, uh, I, I do like button pins and um, some shirts. And the newest thing that I put on there that has really sold um, relatively, I mean, I don't, I, I may get a sale every couple of months, but since I put it up there, I've sold quite a few of them. It's um, rubber stamps, ink stamps. People seem to like those. Before that, it was the uh, the triple moon pin that I made that people really liked. But I also did pins that had the different pagan holidays on it that people have bought. And there have been a couple of shirts. I did a couple of military, like Wiccan uh, and pagan military shirts for veterans who are of that faith and those have sold <clears throat> but I have uh, plans to make a shirt um, that I can like hit up the people I work with to buy um, because at Amazon there's you know a regular scheduled days that we work but there's also voluntary extra time which is you know you can pick up shifts and work extra days and then there's voluntary time off which is if they don't need some people to work they'll offer them VTO and they basically just take them off the schedule and you'll have that time off but it won't count it won't count against your your like vacation or paid time off or unpaid time so I was going to make a shirt that said something along the lines of I'm with VTO or um, or you know a couple other things with VTO in it and I'm like go ahead and buy one 
and wear it to work and say hey if y'all want to buy it you know you know, let me know and I'll I'll text you the link or something you know so and you know VTO is not one of those things that Amazon could sue me for because it's just three it's initials they could, they could stand for anything and you know, it could be a very tremendous opportunity or a very terrific opportunity or something like that. It doesn't have to stand for voluntary time off. So, and just because you you wear a shirt that says that at Amazon, you know, they still can't assume it means voluntary time off. So, you know, you can't get in trouble for it. I mean, there's no dress code, really. You can wear whatever you want, as long as it's not explicit lyrics or graphics. Anyway, that's pretty much the stuff that's going on. I do like that all the flowers are blooming. It's finally spring. It's not officially spring yet. But there's blue bonnets. Even these plants in the median are starting to put blooms on the red stalks. But there's a whole bunch of yellow flowers. I'm not sure what they are. And every so often you'll see a blue bonnet. really pretty all right so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down pretty much talked about everything that I can well not everything that I can you know me I could go on for hours but you know, at this point the video is probably gonna be close to an hour long so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down let me go ahead and turn you around all right well if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button we're floating at 183 subscribers right now so yay and welcome to the family if you found any entertainment value or worse in this video or any other video i've done for this channel go ahead and hit that like button and while you're at it swipe that notification bell to be notified anytime i upload a new video to gecko's trails so Share this with your family and friends, anybody who likes videos about hiking, hiking, camping, backpacking. Sorry for the noise, I'm at an intersection. So, that being said, y'all stay safe, y'all stay sane, and get out and hike a trail. You'll thank me for it, and you'll feel so much better. Until next time, this is Gecko saying bye. Hey guys, I'm sitting back at my computer. After my walk, after it got dark, we had a cold front move through and there was a really intense lightning storm that took place. And I got some really good video of it. I just wanted to let you know that this video is in real time. I'm not fast forwarding it. It's not time lapse. It's actual speed. Like it's not enhanced at all. So, um, I will say there will be a flash warning in case you're epileptic. You might not want to watch it. So, check this out.
amazing light show. Wow. Oh. <sighs>